everything you think you know about the projectiles in Team Fortress 2 is a lie. That was a pretty bold statement, so let me start by explaining how this whole experiment that I'm doing here got started. As many of you already know, I am left-handed, and I play with left-handed view models because it feels more comfortable to me. And I've been getting a lot of these types of comments recently, and I'm by no means attacking them. They're actually being super nice and trying to help me improve my gameplay, so I'm not trying to attack them at all. But let's look at this example from Rex Lee. One tip for rocket jumping, instead of aiming down left, which I do all the time, aim down right for most of the normal jumps. When your view model is on the left side, it's only the view model. The rockets still come out of the right side as if you had the right, right as in direction, view model. And that makes sense. I mean, the rockets by default in third person on Soldier are always coming out of the right because his rocket launcher is always on his right shoulder. When you flip your view models, you're not flipping your entire character. He goes on to say, in the end, when you aim down right, the jumps are easier to pull off because the travel time is shorter. Center should also work, but nyeh. I personally prefer down right. Of course, down left can work, but it's harder to pull off, but once you've learned how, it's not a problem, of course. And this last statement here is what gets me. I was actually quite the jumper back in my day in TF2. 3,200 hours in six years. You've probably noticed that I've been rocket jumping around with right-handed view models with the Liberty Launcher. And the reason I'm doing this is because I'm trying to test going back and forth between rocket jumping as I know it with left-handed view models and trying to left-handed rocket jump and right-handed rocket jump with right-handed view models and see if there actually is a difference. And so far, there's a minor difference, but it really feels that with right-handed view models, it's easier to rocket jump on the right side, like people suggested. But for some reason, when I do it on left-handed view models, it feels awkward and I don't quite get the distance that I get when I rocket jump left-handed. So it's weird that right-handed, I can't do the left-handed jumps properly. And I don't know if it's just because the view model's screwing me up, or it's something else, because I really don't feel like the view model of the tiny little Liberty Launcher is that big of a deal. So I decided to test if the rockets actually do have a fundamental difference between being on the left-handed view models and the right-handed. And the best way I could think to do this was to just find a small open window, which is why I'm on Harvest, good rocket jumping map, and it's just perfect for what I'm needing for this video. And I was going to line myself up as best I could at these coordinates that you're seeing on the top right hand of the screen. I'm gonna line them up each time and fire out the window with left-handed view models, then unfortunately I'm gonna have to disconnect and reconnect with right-handed ones, line them up in the exact same position, and see if there's actually a difference whatsoever. And my predictions for this was that it wouldn't make a difference whatsoever, or if there was a difference, it would be minor. Now I am going to point out that I am manually walking to these positions and trying to line the numbers up the best I can. The reason for that is because once I get on the server that supports replays, so we can look at this in a third person perspective, it doesn't allow SV Cheats 1, so I can't actually like teleport to this spot directly. But the error is only within like a 0.20% difference, and to show how small that difference actually is, I'm gonna show you two frames back and forth of positions that I was sitting in when I was recording the left and right-handed view model tests. Now, granted, I was looking a bit further down in the right-handed one, but up and down doesn't matter with this, only left and right. And you see that center line of the window, how it's like identically lined up? Yeah, the room for error is so insignificant that if it actually made a difference, it wouldn't matter in actual gameplay at all anyway. So a little disclaimer there, because I know someone's going to point that out. Now here you see my character lined up at position negative 852 and 340, and we are lining up our shots at a 90 degree angle. Once again, vertical angles do not matter, we are just focusing on the horizontal here, because we're not trying to focus on up and down, just left and right. And we are slowly turning more and more, going from 90 to 89 to 88 and so on until I actually end up shooting myself. Now I did use SV Cheats 1 here just to reload my ammo because I didn't want to reset my position to go get an ammo box. And it looks like I am firing around the left side of this window pretty well so far. I'm not sure if a right-handed rocket launcher would be able to do this. Oh, but there we go. At about an 81 degree angle, I ended up shooting myself in the window. Okay, 
Now it's time to reset and try that exact same thing with the right-handed view models. And the reason I am using the Liberty Launcher still for this is because, well, there's a few reasons. One, it can fire more rockets. Two, its view model is puny, and it doesn't screw me up as much. And three, when we actually go into third-person view, it should be a lot easier to see where the rockets are spawning, due to the fact that the rockets are technically slightly bigger than the barrel of the rocket launcher itself. Okay, here we are in the same position again, and we are using the right-handed view models now, and we should be able to fire across this- okay. Well then. Um, let's do a reset there and make sure that's not a fluke. No? Okay! So, apparently at a 90 degree angle, like, just at 90, not even 81, at 90 degree angle, we can't shoot past that window. Okay, well, I'm not gonna call it yet, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to find a position where the right-handed view models can shoot, and see if the left-handed view models end up shooting you. That might be more consistent. Okay, so this time, using the right-handed view models, we are at positions negative 940 and 340, and we are starting firing at a 90 degree angle and going up, because we're going to the left now instead of going to the right gradually, and we're doing a pretty fair job of shooting around the right side of this. And it's only until we reach 98 degrees that we end up shooting ourselves. And that's roughly the same what it was on the other one, just subtract 98 for 81 because it's in the other direction. Well, now we need to reset and try this exact position with the left-handed view models and see what happens. Okay, and now we're back in the same position as the right-handed test using the left-handed view models. This time we're not going to start with 90, we're going to gradually ease into that by starting shooting to the right with the left-handed view models, so there's actually some room for error there. And we hit ourselves. We didn't even get close to coming to 90. Yet we can still shoot around the first corner with the left view models perfectly fine. But no matter what position we take, we are really struggling to shoot around the corner that we used in the right-handed test. This is looking pretty bad for all of the people who claim that the rockets always are on the right side, no matter what your view models are. But there is one definitive and final way to look at this, because maybe it makes the screen off-center for some reason. I mean, we would probably see that in the numbers of the position and the fact that the screenshots wouldn't correlate with each other, but just for the sake of argument, Let's have a look at something that will absolutely prove this or disprove it. Let's redo our first test that we did, but let's take a look at it in third person, with the replays. And let's see if the rocket actually spawns over his left shoulder and fires out of his left shoulder. Or if for some odd reason it just clips through the building. Okay, here we are in the same position as the first test, negative 852 and 340 and we are firing our rockets as close as possible to the wall without blowing ourselves up. And this should help us really see what's going on here. And we're just firing this for a little while so we have enough footage to work with. Now keep in mind that I don't have, like, any mods or anything that changes, like, where my character is positioned. All I have ever done is I've added my HUD with its crosshair, a kill sound, and I flip my view models, which is something in-game. That's not an outside source. But yeah, I don't have any mods in Team Fortress 2. Just my HUD, that kill sound, and I think I still have a custom skin for the Calmangler. But aside from that, I haven't really modded this game at all. Okay, going into the replay editor here. Alright, looks like we captured a good replay. Gonna go into free camera mode, pan around, and let's get this started. Alright, he's gonna get himself lined up there. This is like the really precise movements I was doing to try and get it lined up as best possible. I'm probably gonna skip through a bit of this just because it took me a little while. Okay, looks like we're ready to start firing. There we go. Well, that certainly doesn't look like it's coming from the rocket launcher, does it? That looks like... It's coming out of his left shoulder! What do you know? What's interesting though, is you still get the muzzle flash, like, on the back of his rocket launcher, despite the rocket coming from his left shoulder. 
All right, we're gonna slow down time, and we're going to see if we can get a better look at this. It really looks like it's coming off of his left shoulder. It's kind of harder to tell the closer you are. You know why I bet people would not notice this? It is still pretty close to Soldier's center, but it's definitely on his left. But if the Soldier was moving and strafing around, I bet you would never notice this. Because what Soldier... How many Soldiers do you know are going to use the left-handed view models and hold perfectly still as they fire out a window? Alright, he's blowing himself up again. Let's rewind again, look at it from another angle, and slow it down even more. It looks like he fired at the wall and it vanished, but it actually happened on the other side of him. That is definitely coming out the left side. Look at the smoke trail here. You can see exactly where it's leading from. Right on the left side of his head. It's not coming out of the rocket launcher. Even with the smoke like trying to center itself, you can clearly see it is, indeed, firing from the left side. Look at that, the rocket itself looks like it's almost clipping through the wooden border there. And then it comes out. And there is no reason that rocket launcher, being on his right shoulder, should be able to fire like that, if he's at that position. It just doesn't make sense. Here's the crit rocket. Let's see how this one does. Alright, this one we can see exactly where it spawned. I paused it right as it spawned. And you can see, it spawns on his left shoulder, where the barrel would be if his rocket launcher was on his left side. And there it goes. Straight off of his left shoulder. Let's speed it up. Just a bit. There it is making an absolutely straight and perfect line and striking exactly where the other rockets have been striking so far. That's it. I'm gonna have to call this, everybody. Despite what everyone will tell you on the Steam help forms, despite what all of the soldier mains say, despite the TF2 wiki saying that all it does is draw the weapon on the left side, this has to definitively prove once and for all that in an amazingly unpredictable twist, you actually do fire your rockets from the left side with left-handed view models. And you know what I think that is? I think that Valve intended that you could have your rocket launcher on the left side. You saw how that crit rocket spawned on the shoulder of the soldier with the left-handed view models on, even though his player model had it on the right side. What do you want to bet? that it was intended that that was going to be a feature and they just either didn't bother to remove it and didn't bother to finish it. That in classic lazy Valve fashion, instead of like fully developing the left-handed player aspect of Team Fortress 2, they just left it as it is and is like, oh, it just changes the view models because we're too lazy to program separate character models. In fact, we're too lazy to even give them their own unique textures. We just mirror the other ones. Oh, and the jiggle bones are broken on left-handed view models? Well, we're too lazy to fix that too. So of course we're going to be too lazy to remove the fact that it actually fires from the left side. Do you realize how exploitable that could be in competitive? Just imagine, in like a year or so from now, I hope this video becomes popular, I want to see a bunch of competitive soldiers switching up their view models just so they can get an edge on other players depending on what the map is. That or they're just going to ban being left-handed in competitive, which I'm sure they probably would do. So after all the years of professional soldier mains assuring you that the rockets come from the right side, that the only way you can get the rocket to come from a different position is to use the original, after all the falsely answered questions on the Steam forms, and after all the complaints in the comment section of my videos, it just goes to show that 
no matter how many hours you have in Team Fortress 2, no matter what your experience level is, you can always be wrong. Well, I hope you guys found this subject as interesting as I did, and hopefully you learned something new from this. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like. Also, subscribe for more and check out some of my other content. I really do appreciate your views and your feedback. I'm, again, I'm not trying to insult anyone here, and I completely understand why everyone assumes that the rockets always fire from the right side. But what I'm surprised at is that no one has bothered to test this because everyone just assumes that the soldier mains are correct. That is messed up, man. You know, it really makes you wonder what other things are out there in Team Fortress 2 that we don't know about that are just right under our own noses. They could be happening in-game every day and we don't even know about it. Think about that for a while. But that's all for now. I'll see you all in the next one.